Welcome to my cozy fall recipe video. I have four wonderful recipes to share with you today, plus a little mini grocery haul, so let's get started. Let's jump into the first recipe, and it is chili, but I'm gonna make it a new way. Plus, I'm actually gonna share with you what I do with the leftovers, so stay tuned for the end of this video because you're gonna love this, absolutely love it. So the ingredients are interchangeable, you can use whatever you have on hand. I just tend to pull out things out of my pantry and I've never made it like this before, but we're gonna go for it. Here I have some diced frozen white onion, which I froze in one of my freezer meal prep videos. I will link both of those down in the description box below if you want some freezer meal ideas. And then out of my pantry, AKA my tiny kitchen cupboards, I picked out two cans of kidney beans in dark red, a can of pinto, a can of corn, a large can of petite diced tomatoes. I have a can of fire roasted red peppers. I'm going to put in some garlic. And then I also made some veggie broth for these cozy fall recipes. And I will make sure I will pop that recipe in the description box below. I will just type it out for you. But that is the ingredients that are going into tonight's chili. Let's pop these cans open. These two right here are going into the food processor and then I'm gonna get my garlic and my onions cooking in my pot on the stove. I know we have all made some sort of vegan, vegetarian, plant-based chili before, but let me tell you, this is the best one that I've ever made. I put in some veggie broth, which I'm actually gonna share with you that recipe here in this video with some onions and garlic until they were nice and soft. Whipped my red peppers in this food processor. I'll put this in the description box if you wanna check it out. It's amazing. Still working with that old can opener. And you guys were right, I have to tell you, a couple of you left a comment saying to take a little bit of aluminum foil and kind of like clean it up a little bit since it was getting rusty and hard to turn. Perfection. Thank you for that tip so much. So I just threw my chili together and I let it simmer for about 25 minutes and we took the leftovers and I made another recipe with the leftovers. Like I said, this is probably the best chili recipe I have personally ever made because the red peppers just made it so amazing. Don't forget tomorrow, Sunday, October 3rd, is the last day that you can snag my newest ebook on sale. The sale is that you get this ebook, 25 budget-friendly recipes, plus my 2020 holiday ebook and my breakfast ebook, all three of them for just $5. You can find the link down in the description box below. This sale ends tomorrow, October 3rd, so don't miss out. I've had a lot of requests on the video that I shared how I make my Instant Pot homemade from scratch veggie broth. So I'm just sharing it really quickly because this I am using multiple times in this recipe video. I take all of my scraps, potatoes, green beans, onions, peppers, anything that I can put in veggie broth. I put it in Ziploc baggies, store it in my freezer when I have enough. I fill a pot with the scraps, fill it with water, put a lid on it, and let it simmer for two hours. It comes out really dark, rich brown. You can add seasonings to it if you want to. I tend to just add seasonings when I cook with it. It's also a great replacement if you don't want to cook with oil. It's wonderful. Oh, hey, this just came, which Misfit Foods, it's not sponsored. It's not affiliated. They don't even know who I am. I ordered this because I wanted to try it and they're kind of newish to my area. Um, a friend told me that they were here a while ago, a couple months ago, but I have been waiting for this to show up to my doorstop because the ingredients here are for tonight's dinner. Now, if you haven't heard of Misfits Foods, I'm gonna tell you, and I'm actually gonna show you what I got in my box, just in case you're curious. It's like a mini grocery haul within this dinner's video. But the prices are insane like they're really inexpensive plus all their produce and everything's organic so i'll show you what i got i'll tell you the prices you can compare for yourself and if you want to try misfit foods all you have to do is click the link in the description box go place an order and you save ten dollars on your first order just like that i did not save money on my first order because i didn't use anybody's link but i like i said i'm super impressed with the prices um 
and they're all organic which you know I don't usually shop organic because it's just you know you got to pick your own your own battle your own way you got to do your own research I don't normally shop organic the nice thing about misfit is if you don't reach the minimum in your cart every single week or you don't go in and place an order that's $30 or more they won't charge you they just skip the week for you so it's not like I used to order from imperfect foods and sometimes it would give me anxiety that I would forget and then something would show up on my doorstop and they would shop for me based on what I liked. I like this a little bit better. Prices are amazing. So like I said, I'll show you what I got and then we're gonna jump in to the next dinner. We're gonna do a really casual unboxing here. This paper was over this, this was over that. So it was like nice and covered, especially if you're ordering stuff that's obviously shipping overnight, mine shipped overnight, came from Salt Lake City to here Team UPS ground. I do like that they have a reusable ice pack so I can put this in my freezer and use it. I did already try one of these. These are the Verb Energy Bars in the Ginger Snap flavor. I got this one because the other one that they had was peanut butter chocolate or something. Super delicious. If I'm talking really fast, it's because I just had one of these and there's like 65 milligrams of caffeine. It has crystallized ginger in it, so it has a very bold ginger flavor, which I was hoping for, and they're amazing. They're like 90 calories, most of the ingredients are organic, they're vegan, and these were half the prices they are on their website. So these were $13 a bag and you get 12 bars. So I was pretty happy with that price. And I'd always wanted to try them, so I grabbed two of these bags. For tonight's dinner, I need mushrooms, and I decided to go with two different kinds of mushrooms. So both of these mushrooms are organic. I don't know if you can see Ooh. that on there. They both are organic, and they were $2 a carton, which, I'm sorry, $2? Like, these are usually $3.29 at my local Winco, and that's non-organic. So, gosh, even if I just bought <laughs> mushrooms every single week from Misfits, I'll be very happy. So make sure you check out Misfits because honestly, $2 for mushrooms, that's amazing. I got one head of romaine, again, organic. This is a beautiful head of romaine and this was 99 cents. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try a little bit of the produce. If I'm impressed, I'll try a little bit more. But yeah, this is a great head of romaine, 99 cents. Also for tonight's dinner is this beautiful acorn squash, also organic. This cost me $1.29. And I think that's a great price. Just doing the comparisons at my local Walmart and Winco, I know that's a great price. So they're $1.29 each, and I'm probably gonna stock up if we really like this dinner because I'm in the fall mood 100% right now. My husband really wants to do tacos, and I thought we could do like a lentil taco. So I got these blue corn taco shells by Garden of Eaton, and they were $1.29. I'm sorry, I can't get these at my grocery store for $1.29. And the last thing, we always buy so many different kinds of milk in this house because my husband can't have almond, I can't have cashew, so we usually get oat milk, but this was 99 cents, and I should have gotten more of them. I'm not really sure why I didn't add more to my cart, but it is a 32 ounce container of rice stream, and it was 99 cents, and I thought that was a great deal. I'll probably order more of these next week, but this is great for smoothies, for oatmeal, just to drink. We like to put like protein shakes with it, it's wonderful. And then this is a milk that we can both have without like <laughs> buying a bunch of different milks every single week. All right, tonight's dinner is going to be a beautiful acorn squash with some mushrooms, onions. We're gonna make a gravy. I'm gonna make it a little bit differently than I've showcased on my channel here before, but I will link a couple of videos down below showcasing my normal gravy. But what you're gonna need for this recipe, plus a few more items, seasoning, a little bit of flour and such is you're gonna need an onion, some mushrooms. I'm gonna wash these up and chop them. You're gonna need some garlic. I am going to make a white gravy, so I'm gonna add some of this cashew milk yogurt. Um, it's unsweetened. Make sure it's unsweetened. You don't want like a vanilla or a berry flavored yogurt, obviously. The acorn squash and then of course my homemade veggie broth. That is to start the recipe. Let's get chopping. Let's get this into the oven and then I'll show you how to make this quick gravy. The amazing things that you learn on TikTok. If you have never cut an acorn squash, cut it off at the end and then cut it in half down the middle. Have a super sharp knife. My needs sharpened very badly. You can scoop all the seeds, you can toast them, roast them, whatever you want to do. I did save mine. I did not show you how I toasted, roasted them in this video, but I heard they're edible, so let's hope that they are. I popped mine down on a piece of parchment paper and threw them in the oven at 475 degrees for about 15 minutes, and they were perfection. Thank you. 
this was a super easy mushroom onion white gravy. I threw a little bit of the veggie broth, some garlic, and my onion into a pot. Once that was translucent, I added my mushrooms. Then I added a little seasonings. You can have whatever kind of seasonings you want, but I threw in a little bit of balsamic vinegar to add a little tang, and it was so good. Definitely going to do that again. Once these were cooked up, I turned it off the heat, let it sit for a second, and then I added three tablespoons of flour with just a little bit of water, threw that in, mixed it up, and then I actually removed a serving for myself. I can't have cashews. Recently, they've been really bothering me. I have a lot of weird nut allergies. They just do a lot of just havoc to my stomach. So what I did is I removed a little bit and then I added the cashew yogurt to make it extra creamy and it was really good. My husband said he really loved it. And if you're wondering, yes, one acorn squash is not enough to feed two humans, especially a really big human like my husband. I had the acorn squash for myself. I had the entire thing with gravy and it was really, really good. And then for my husband, I actually just made regular mashed potatoes and he had the gravy on top mashed potatoes. So he had a much sheer, harder year meal and both ways, it's really good. You can use this gravy for so many things. I always save the best recipe for last. And this recipe is actually in my brand new ebook. It is a three ingredient cornbread and wow, it is so good. So I took the leftover chili, put it in a glass baking dish, made the cornbread, put that on top of the chili and then added sweet and hot jalapenos from Trader Joe's. If you don't like jalapenos or don't have that virgin, you can add any that you would like. Popped it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. You have to make sure your cornbread is completely baked through. Don't worry about your chili. Obviously that's just being warm but you want to make sure your cornbread is perfection and this was amazing especially because I feel like chili you make in large quantities and then you want to you know use the leftovers but maybe you don't want the same thing you know just regular warmed up chili this is a great go-to for leftovers if you don't want to add the cornbread to the top you can add it into a separate pan and serve it on the side so good but my husband loved this meal especially with the jalapenos he's a huge spice fan i will type out the recipe for this and leave it in the description box below for you but thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you really enjoyed it and i will see you soon in another video Bye bye